Hello world, it is Wednesday, January 12th, <clears throat> 2022, and uh, looks like it's trying to be a nice day today. Not quite as cold in defiance as I look out my window. Um, got a little bit of, kind of overcast, but it was 32, I think, when I went running this morning, so not anywhere near as frigid as it was earlier in the week. The devotion for today is written by Talitha Arnold, and, and it's entitled, The Daughters Were Right. Talitha bases the devotion upon Numbers 27, verse 7, New Revised Standard Version. The Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad are right in what they are saying. You shall indeed let them possess an inheritance among their father's brothers and pass the inheritance of their father on to them. And Talitha writes, Who do you know who needs the story of the daughters of Zelophehad? The story of five young women who, because of supposedly divinely inspired inheritance laws that disinherited daughters, faced destitution after their father's death. The story of their courage, desperation, or some combination thereof that motivated them to go to the tent of meeting and make their case before the great Moses, the high priest, Eliezer and the elders and the whole assembly. The story of Moses not dismissing, dismissing the young women, but instead bringing their case before the Lord. Most of all, the story of the Lord proclaiming the daughters are right and changing the law. Who needs to know this story? Perhaps it's the person struggling to reconcile their sexuality with the teachings of the faith they've entrusted since childhood. Perhaps it's the mid-career cis woman who has hit the glass ceiling in the culture of her workplace. Maybe it's a parent trying to figure out what's best for their child and what words like male, female, trans, cis mean in a gender-fluid world. Going beyond gender issues, maybe the story about it, maybe the story about a god who gives heed to the disenfranchised daughters can also give hope and courage to someone who's been dismissed or passed over because of the color of their skin ethnicity, economic status, or accent. Who needs this story? Perhaps it's anyone who yearns to know there is always more light and truth to break forth from God's holy word and God's ways. And the prayer. Thank you, God of light and truth, for this story. Amen. <clears throat> well, a couple things from this devotion is understanding um, the nature of religious laws and where they really come from. Um, are they edicts by God? And did God dictate those and somebody wrote them down word for word? Or are they human interpretations and understandings? It's a good question to ponder. I mean, in this case, the uh, inheritance laws, which were thought to be divinely inspired, were, was that Inheritance was only passed down through the men in the family. Women didn't get any. And so women could be left destitute. It's often why there's um, stories about widows and orphans in the Bible because um, they're left destitute because they have nothing to inherit. They can't inherit. Um, it's interesting that uh, in, I think it's in England, um, those laws were still in effect even into the beginning of the 20th century that uh, inheritance was always passed down through the mail. And there were very specific rules about um, how much each, if there were more than one male in the family, how much each got, the firstborn getting the bulk of it, and then certain percentages given to each of those. Supposedly, as, as Talitha even says in her devotion, um, supposedly divinely inspired that only the men should get it the women left destitute and yet these women the daughters of Zelophehad came to Moses and said look you know we're dying and so Moses asked the Lord and changed the law so that happens so just because there's things in the Bible that you think have always been true doesn't mean they should always be true forever and ever. 
And sometimes we don't understand the history behind them, the context behind them. And that's also important too. There's a lot to think about when you start delving into that. So I think I've given you enough to think about today. So have a good day and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow.